Hi, my name is David Broadbent, Product Manager here at National Instruments for RF and Wireless Test. And today we're standing at NI Week 2011 in the uh, RF Pavilion. And what we're going to do is demonstrate the phase matrix modules that we've been using to extend the frequency range of our 6.6 .6 gigahertz VSA product line up to 26 and a half gigahertz. So in this system, I want to introduce you to some of these modules that from our recent acquisition of phase matrix, the PXI modules that you see here in the system are from left to right, a local oscillator, which is a low phase noise, fast tuning source, acts as the local oscillator for down conversion. Here in the center, we have a 1410 pre-selector and attenuator module. And then to the right, that's being used in this system is a microwave down converter. And then off to the left here, what we're actually doing is we have a switch where you can use either the 6.6 the .6 gigahertz VSA, so the 5663 for the lower frequency uh, signals, or you can switch in the phase matrix modules for anything above 6.5 gigahertz all the way up to 26.5 gigahertz. And then also in the system of note is a flex radio module, and I'll show you why that's important here. Um, up on top, before I continue on, is a quick sin module. So this is a CW source, uh, USB controlled from phase matrix. Phase matrix has created a, this is the low phase noise, fast tuning source, the same technology that's being used in the local oscillator below. And we're using this as a source up to 20 gigahertz for the demonstration. So here in the demo, what we're actually doing is I've got a tone centered at uh, 18 gigahertz and we're sweeping very quickly back and forth in a 40 megahertz span. So from 17.98 gigahertz up to that 18.02 gigahertz. And it's hopping with just 50, 50 microseconds of dwell time in between each hop. And so it's pausing at 50, for 50 microseconds and then hopping and it has a tuning speed of about 100 microseconds. And so as you can imagine, we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of data being captured here and a lot of very quick signal jumping around. In the, on the screen, you can see faster than of course our eyes or the uh, processor is able to update that we have a lot of that spectral information. And then down at the bottom, you see the spectrogram and you can see the spreading of, uh, of that power across as it's hopping very quickly. And what I'd like to note is as I click this maximum hold, you'll notice that all of those hops are actually being captured as we are peer-to-peer -peer streaming from the 5622 digitizer to our Flex Rio module. And if I read this here, we're actually performing 61,000 uh, one kilosample FFTs per second and streaming that data from the 5622 over to the FPGA at 250 mega samples a second. So this is really showing not only the, uh, the good collaboration and, and um, support and the benefit of having these phase matrix modules to extend our frequency range, but also the synchronization uh, benefits of the PXI platform as we're able to stream very, very quickly this data over to the FPGA, perform those FFTs, and then pass that, uh, the flexibility, of course, to pass that to the pro for processing afterwards to our controller. So thank you.